Well, hello everyone. This is HunterTube back again, and today we are doing a review on an awesome find I found at Target yesterday. It is the Trapmaster Push Long Hard at Work Pack. So yeah, I found it at Target yesterday, folks, and now I finally have the the whatever his name is. His name is actually Esther. Or Esta, whatever it is, because right here it calls it Esta, and then here it calls it Esther, and underneath it calls it Esther. So, yeah. It's either Esther or Esta. I don't know. I'm just going to say both for now because we're not too sure about the name. But either way, I got the pack, folks. It's out. So, yeah. Um, I was hoping I would be the first one to review this, but technically I'm the second. So, yeah, I was just looking for, like, seeing if there were other people who had it. And Express being 64, I think it was 64 or 54, I forgot. But, like, he showcased the engines, and I was hoping I would be the first one to review it. And, yeah, he stole my fame of reviewing it first. Why must you do this to me, Cruel World? Why? But either way, um, let's get to looking at the box here. So, of course, it says Trap Master, Push Along. We have a promo picture of Thomas. It says Hard at Work. There's, like, mud all over the box. Yeah, literally all over the box. And, like, it says Metal Engines and Vehicles. And then here we have Muddy Thomas, Muddy Kevin, Jack, and Esther or Esta. Yeah. Oh, and it's ages 3 to 7. Then if we look at the back of the box, it says, Thomas is helping his friends from the construction crew. Jack, Kevin, and Esther. Wait a minute. Kevin's part of the construction crew? Okay, either way. Jack, Kevin, and Esther are digging in for another busy and muddy day. But when, when did Kevin be part of the construction crew? This this new Digs and Discoveries movie is gonna have some really weird plot holes in character in character developments. I am confusion. Kevin is part of the construction crew. This is weirding me out. Either way, it says here that there's a movable crane, boom bucket, and shovel, metal engines and vehicles, and then here it comes with Thomas, Kevin, Jack, and Esther. Because it says Esther here and Esther there. I'm not sure. And then it says collect them all. And here's the uh, like around the world pack. I don't know. I think it was called the around the world four pack. It came with Australian Percy, Ashima, Hongmei, and uh, Kenyan Victor. Th th yeah, You should have just left Victor normal. He was from a different country in the start. But why Percy? Why? Just why Percy? It's my question. Either way, up in the corner here it says the thing about that, and yeah, there's the uh, item number. But either way, without further ado, let's get these things out of their box. Ooh yeah, guys, get ready for an awesome unboxing. Oh, also one more thing, the pack. This was the only one of this pack at Target amongst all the other around the world four packs and. Celebration time packs. And this box was kind of damaged, but either way, we didn't get a discount. Oh man, this box. It's just, it's struggling to open. I'm literally struggling to open this thing. Alrighty. Here's Esther. Here's Jack. Here's. My second Kevin, and here comes Thomas. Oh yeah. Also, now that we got all the engines out of the way, you can see some more of the mud. But either way, bye bye box! Okay, now that we got all the characters out of the box, let's start looking at each and one of them, one by one, and comparing them to like the normal style models. So the first character in this pack we're gonna look at is Muddy Thomas. So yeah, he's basically Thomas with a whole bunch of mud splattered on him. He's, he even has like mud splattered on his face and, and it's printed material on his face, the mud. 
but on the uh, engine it's all paint. So yeah. This is my second push along Thomas now. Try my second push along Thomas. And yeah, it's just called Thomas Rip. It's not called Muddy Thomas. It would be much, much nicer if this was called Muddy Thomas. I'm going to call it Muddy Thomas, because yeah. I mean, this Thomas is actually decent. And yeah, that was Muddy Thomas. Oh, wait, I still need to compare it to the original Thomas. Okay, so here is Muddy Thomas up against the normal Trap Master Push on Thomas. And you can see there are a lot of differences. First off, the face is muddy, and that's not. And you can see that that, that has like a whole bunch of mud on it. The backs are obviously the same. That's the same with the other side. Then the tops. Oh, wait, I can just do this. Yeah. The tops are completely different. But yeah, either way, that was Muddy Thomas. Now let's look at Mr. Muddy Kevin here. So yeah, it's basically the same as the other Kevin, just with a bunch of mud. So his face has mud splattered all over it. He still has his cup wings, which is kind of mesh. And what's even stranger is... The Sodor Steamworks, all the mud splats, and everything on Kevin here is all printed material. This is a first for Mattel. This is the first time Mattel has ever used printed material on metal. Yeah. It's very weird, and it looks very weird. You probably can't tell on camera, but... It's kind of weird. You can kind of see like like the uh the print the printing makes like the wording more blurry sort of. Not on camera really, but cuz you can't tell cuz it's always blurry. But either way, it says Sodor Ste works. Sodor Ste work cuz the S is cut out. And then yeah, it has like detail here. And it says Sodor Steamworks on this side. And it's covered in mud. And even the chassis has mud on it. I mean, wow. They really went in the effort of doing this. But you know what would have made this pack even cooler? Is giving mud on Thomas's wheels and Kevin's wheels. That would make this pack way cooler. Giving the muddy... Giving the wheels a bit of mud. That would just make the packs like, just, just give both these characters brown wheels. That would you know, that would make the pack perfect. Then they'd look extremely muddy. Yeah, you should have just gave these guys like brown wheels. I mean, that would be perfect. You, that's like my only nitpick with this pack. You should have gave these two guys brown wheels. But either way, his his crane arm moves up and down just like the uh, other Kevin model. And yeah, now that we looked at this Kevin, let's compare it to the normal one. Okay, so here is normal Kevin here. So first off, let's start by comparing the faces. Also, one thing, this crane arm is like loose here on the normal Kevin. But with this one, look at this. Look, it's staying up. I tried to put this one up. It just falls back down. Yeah, this one is like loose. This one is like tight. It's weird how these items are made, but either way, here's the faces. Only the difference is Kevin has mud. And then, my gosh, look at the sides. Look at the gear. Look at the crank pin. Look how different it looks. It's like filled in more. I mean, my gosh, this is the difference between printed material and painted material. My gosh, you get like darker colors. Wow, this is... I actually kind of like the look of printed material on on uh, paint. On metal. It makes it look, like, way cooler. I mean, look at this! The windows are filled in more. Look how big those windows are compared to these. There is a huge size difference in window size. I mean, wow, this one doesn't even fill in the whole window. This one does! 
keep doing printed materials on metal, please. Then we'll get like completely filled windows. I mean, keep doing it, Mattel. This is like amazing. This Kevin is like way better. Uh, if only they made normal Kevin with these printed materials. Wow. This just goes to show how far better printed material is compared to paint. I mean, wow. They need to make a normal Kevin like that. Oh, also, I just realized something. This Kevin is kind of like a darker yellow, and this one's a brighter yellow. That's weird. By the way, the backs are completely different. The same, I meant. I mean, wow. Look at this. Look at that, the windows and, and the logo, it looks way better. And then all the colors and stuff, it just... Printing materials really lift the toy, Mattel. Good job, this is like amazing, wow. I'm still using this Kevin as the normal one, don't worry. But wow, the, they should have gave Kevin printing materials straight away, I mean... Printing materials really lift the model. I mean, wow. But either way, just saying, I give this Kevin like a better rating than this one. Just because of the printing materials. I mean, it is that good. But either way, that was Kevin. Now let's get on to looking at the new characters of the pack. Starting with... Jack the Front Loader. Yeah, I decided to do, like, the old returnees first because they're a character that everyone loves, like, everyone knows and things. And yeah, so, like, there's his face. It's basically a squarish CGI face. And, like, one sad thing about this, Jack doesn't have much metal on him. This area here and this area here, all the way around, are, like, the only metal pieces on this. Everything else is plastic. Jack, at least Jack has like a bit more metal than Rebecca. But still, I'd prefer a tiny, tiny bit more metal on Jack. Like maybe his, this area here, like this area here, and here, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And here, yeah. The roof, maybe the roof too, and that's all. The windows can stay plastic, but yeah, that's all. I prefer to be metal, and like he has rivets. I might need to lift up the bucket. Yeah, he has rivets here, and he has like details all over, and he has rivets on this side too, and his stack or whatever. And he actually has his crank pin. And his bucket can actually go pretty far. I mean, look at this. Look at that. His bucket can go like that. His his bucket arm can go that far. And his, like, bucket can go down. Way down. Like, that's how far down the bucket can go. Wow. Mattel really did a good job with these models. I mean, wow. Only problem, Jack has a back coupling. But who cares? The wooden railway Jack did that same thing where Jack has a back coupler, so... That's, like, old. We don't need to complain about that. Either way, that was Jack. Oh, also, he has, like, tread wheels like uh, Kevin does. And, yeah. But that was Jack. And he just fell off the table. And now, we are going to look at the one of the best characters... Do ever come in this pack? Not best, but like one of the coolest additions of this pack. Esther or Esta? I'm saying both because like uh, there's like two names on the back of that box, and I don't want to like just say one just because like I'm not sure which one it is. It's either Esther or Esta. I'm gonna say both for now until like we get the official name revealed until we figure out which name it is. But either way, so here's Esther, or Esta, and so you can kind of see his face, because his, his bucket doesn't move that far. Rip. It can't go down that much, and then, like, this thing can only go back, but not forwards. It's kind of a rip as well. 
Oh wait, never mind. The way to make it go forwards is to do that. That's how front loaders work. I'm stupid. I am being stupid. Okay. I'm sorry. Front loaders work like this, not like you know what I said earlier. But either way, I mean, look at the detail on the front. You can barely see it, but there's a whole bunch of detail, and that is, like, epic. I mean, I like Esther or Esther's design here. It The colors really make it work. Like, white, green, and red. That's kind of like... He's like the colors of the Italian flag, which makes it... Which represents him, because he's actually from Italy. You know what this guy reminds me of? He reminds me of Francesco Bernoulli from Cars 2 because of the way his color scheme is and where he's from. And he has, like, green wheels. Just saying, if Esther or Esta was a take-along model and, like, Digs and Discoveries was, like, in, like, the model series and, like, this was still, like, take-along years, this tread here would have been, like, an actual tread. I mean, if this, if Take Along still existed, this tread would have been a literal, actual tread here. Not joking, it would have been a literal tread, but, you know, it's trimester to push along, but is cheap these days, so, yeah. They're just giving us fake treads with, like, green wheels to make it seem like he has treads. Yeah, nice going with the, uh... With the uh, special wheels, because that makes it look like he still has treads going all the way around. But either way, he's the number 33. At first we thought he was number 13, but then we found out he was number 33. And now we finally figured out two of his possible names. So, it it's I'm guessing it's Esther, and, er, and Esta was his original name, and then they like changed it to Esther as a last minute change. But they forgot to remove Esta from the, uh, box packaging. And, yeah. And he has, like, his, uh, his exhaust fan or something up here. And this huge door. And underneath it says Esther. So, yeah. I mean, wow. There's even detail on the bucket here. That's how good this model is. And Rip, he doesn't have printed materials, because see, there's like a bit of a gap in between the window there. I mean, this window would have probably been filled in fully if it was like printed materials. Oh yeah, and then Esther has like back details as well. Not really, just like details there. And then he has a coupling. But either way, that was Esther or Esther. So, now that we looked at all the characters, what are my thoughts on this pack? My thoughts are that this is a really good pack, and I recommend you get it. The best parts about it are Kevin's printed materials, Esther or Esta, the excavator, because, I mean, wow, he looks so good, and Jack the front loader. Those are, like, the, the good parts of this set. I'm kind of, like, meh on Muddy Thomas. Just if he had printed materials, that would have lifted this thing way more. But still, this pack is really good, and I recommend you get it. I'm giving this pack, like, an 8 out of 10. I recommend you get it. It's, like, a really good pack. And now that we, uh, looked at all the characters, let's give them sort of a run around the track layout. In 3, 2, 1, go.
you go, Thomas. Oh, thank you, Kevin. Just what a real crane likes to do. So, yeah, there was your little run. And I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like and comment and subscribe. And tell me what you guys think of this pack. And Esther or Esta, the excavator. And Jack and Thomas and Muddy Kevin and, yeah, Muddy Thomas. Yeah, tell me what you think of this pack down below. And I would love to hear your thoughts and all that. So, yeah, this is our YouTube saying thanks for watching. Bye for now. And the next video will be either on a sneak peek to the next episode or the second train show video.